Right, um, while I've got the DPS out, I've got a bit of powder left in it, and uh, while I've got the camera out, I thought I'd just show you quickly how to clean it out. I mean, it's straightforward in the instructions, but um, if you know, if you've seen it done before, the instructions are straightforward. But if you hadn't, they aren't very clear, so this is it. I'm not trying to teach you all to suck eggs, but this is the way I do it. First of all, you get a little bung. You want to stick that on the nozzle. That'll stop any excess powder coming out. Hopper off. In the kit, you also get a little brush, which you'll need in a little while. And what I call a little shepherd's crook. Um, I find at the back there is a little trap door. I get a little shallow dish, or you can go straight into the uh, con uh, powder container. If you drop the trap door, there's a little slidey hatch inside that. If you drop that, that'll take out 99% of the powder. You can see it coming out inside. So that's 99% of the powder in there. And what you got to do is do that up, just drop, drop that few bits out, because as you can see by my bench it can all go tits up fairly quick. Right, let me just move that out of the way. Just remember where your powder comes from, if you can see that in the camera. That's better in there. In there, this will rotate round. If you take the shroud off so you can see what's happening, can you see them little holes there? If you put the crook in there, that'll just stop the the motor in here, is what does the trickling, is attached to the spout here. And if you there's a hole there to hold one so you can turn one other one against it and undo it. We don't need that and get rid of that. So that's your spout out. That gets tipped into the with the rest of the powder. So that's done. Right. If you turn this round, this has got a lot of um, little plunger effect. If you do that, that all this will come out, and then you can at, you can attack tip that upside down into your main storage container. Then if you get your little brush, give it a brush out, just get all the grains out, it's good to uh, housekeep maintenance. That goes back in like so. If you get your hooker crane, you'll need to get it underneath the threaded bit to lift it up, so when you put your nozzle in, it lines up with the thread, so you can do it up again. You see that? It's a bit fiddly, but like so. So that's that bit done, put that back on there, put them away, just give it a brush down onto the bench and I'll just clean up the bench. Scales back on the scale holder, brush back in there so you know where it is. Uh, collar on for there, hopper back on. Then you've got one nice clean lineman and a tub full of powder which I'll put, I'll put straight back into the... Uh, um, the original container for your powder, so you exactly know what you got, what lot number, and that's that.